okay so for this equation this is a total di in, in the total derivative form no first order differential equation so the order is one and then uh, this is one first degree and then this is linear yes The highest order is 3, so this is third order. And then the power of y people prime is 2, so this is second degree. And of course, this is not linear. So no. Okay. Uh, this is third order. But the power is 1, so and then containing y so all power power of derivative so this is yes okay or we can just check okay this is second order first degree x is the dependent variable then. yes okay dy over dx so y is a dependent variable it contains tangent of 3y this is first order first degree so this is not linear uh, originally this is square root so you square both sides you get the following so this is second order second degree of course not non-linear contains also radical no? so squaring so you get 2 here and then you get 4th degree okay in the simplified form and definitely not linear and then simplify this by multiplying by y y prime okay so simplifying you get we get the following equation the highest order is first order and then second degree this one and what else so of course this is not linear no you have a degree to here and you have per fifth order and then fourth degree of course not linear a solution of phi of t to an ordinary differential equation can be written in the following form no? so you have n derivative and then a function of the independent variables and the derivatives and then satisfying the following equation so uh, let's say n derivative of phi of t and then the the function the derivatives of phi okay verify the following solutions of the differential equation so this is a second order differential equation we want to determine if y y2 y3 are solutions to the differential equation okay so let's start with y equals sine t so since this is second order so we get up to second order derivative derivative of sine is cosine derivative of cosine is negative sine t and then we try to substitute in the original equation so um, y okay so this is your y y prime rather y double prime okay this is your y so substituting yan we get zero and therefore the equation is satisfied okay so therefore y equals sine t is a solution to the 
to this differential differential equation so in a similar manner you can verify or check that y equals negative cosine t and y y equals 2 sine t or also solutions to the di differ, uh, differential equations so what the function y equals e, e raised to t is not is not a solution no it's not a solution since y double prime plus is not a ah, it's not a solution because when you substitute the first derivative of uh, e to the t is e to the t the second derivative is also e to the t so our second derivative is e to the t here plus uh, sorry e to the t okay this is also e to the t so when you simplify you get 2 e raised to t which is not equal to this is not equal to 0 no and therefore the equation is not satisfied by y equals e to the t and therefore e to the t, e to the t is not a solution okay. there are three Im important questions no, in the study of the differential equations that um, um, related that is related to the solutions to the differential equation so is there a solution so not all so meaning not all solutions to differential equation exist no because some some would involve uh, non-elementary functions so if if there is a solution if if a solution exists is it unique it is possible that in the previous in the previous uh, slides or examples natin no? we we have for a for a given differential equation we have three three different uh, functions which are solution to the differential equation if there is a solution so how do we find the solution this is this is most uh, tawagyan common solution no analytical solution but if the uh, solution involves non elementary non elementary function I integration will be Uh, integration would require numerical numerical solutions no with the aid of computer and so on 